23 September 2022 Morning Murshli Am Shanti Babdada Madhuban Sweet children, you have been shown the right path by the Father. Therefore, do not perform any wrong or sinful actions. Question. At the present time, why are the thoughts that human beings have sinful? Answer. Because their intellects do not have any understanding of what is right and what is wrong. Maya has completely locked their intellects until the Father comes and gives them the true recognition. All their thoughts are sinful. In the kingdom of Maya, even if they do have the thoughts of remembering God, their thoughts became wrong because they don't have accurate recognition of God. These matters are very subtle and that have to be understood. Song Salutations to Shif Am Shanti You sweet, sweet children heard the song. Your intellects have understood the accurate meaning of the song. Those who sing it don't know the meaning of it. You understand its practical meaning and are also inspired to make effort by the Father who is in front of you as your helper. He becomes the helper when there is a lot of sorrow. Your children know that he is the incognito helper of all human beings, that is, of all those who are now in this old world. There are many species as well and many varieties of animal. In the golden age, there will be no impure things or impure animals, etc. This drama is predestined. While the people definitely have the best quality homes, and furniture etc. You can understand what the poor people have. At present the whole of the old world is Ram's kingdom and all the insects, snakes and reptiles etc. cause damage just as human beings are tamapradhan. So their materials are also tamapradhan. Even though people construct 40 story buildings, those are nothing compared to the golden age. They have only been built to be destroyed. Your children know that Baba has come. The first thing that Baba explains is the difference between souls and the supreme soul. Human beings neither know about soul nor the supreme soul. Your children now know what the form of a soul and the supreme soul is. They perform worship in the temples they have a huge Shiv Lingam in Banaras, which everyone worships. They even say that a soul, a star, resides in the center of each forehead. If there were a large thing in the center of the forehead, it would be like a tumor. These aspects have to be understood. The Supreme Soul is also a star, but you forget when you remember Shri Baba, it should enter your intellect that Baba is a star and that he has the whole knowledge within him. He is the truth and the living being. He also has an intellect. The mind is separate from the intellect. It is the mind that has storms. There are no storms etc. in the golden age. Here people have ordinary and sinful thoughts. At this time, whatever thoughts human beings create, they are sinful. You have to understand these things very clearly. It is very easy to remember the land of peace and the land of happiness. The subtle aspects are also explained to you. A soul is so subtle, a living being and the truth. Only when a soul enters a womb, that its body starts to move. In fact, even the five elements are living, which is why things are able to grow. However, they do not have a mind or intellect. There is no question of their thinking. The body grows in the womb. Just as a tree grows, so does a body. But it doesn't have knowledge. Knowledge and devotion are for human beings. 
it is souls that do devotion, and it is souls that hear knowledge. It is souls that have minds and intellects and have good and bad thoughts. Their intellects then decide whether to carry out those thoughts or not until the Father comes. All the thoughts that people have are sinful. Even though they remember God, only you can understand whether their remembrance is right or wrong. The element of light is not God. People have the thought of remembering God and their intellects also say that that is right. However, there are locks on their intellects because this is the kingdom of Maya. The devotion that people do is wrong. They worship Krishna, but they have no recognition. Whatever they do is unrighteous. Your intellects have now received wisdom from the Father. You are forbidden to perform wrong actions. To perform a sinful action with your physical organs is forbidden. The intellect says God is not omnipresent. The intellect has now found the right path. You have now received accurate understanding of everything. Whatever you used to do before, you were doing it wrong. The devotion you did was also unrighteous. In order to worship Shiv, they make a huge lingam. But Shivava is not that huge. Now that the locks on your intellect have opened, you understand that all of that is unrighteous. This world is false, whereas the golden age is the true world, who established it. Only the one father is called the truth. Everything he tells you is true. He speaks the truth and establishes the land of truth. These aspects are very deep and detailed and no one else can understand them. You have to go into a lot of depth. The father says, if you are not able to end up those things, just remember the father and the inheritance and forget the land of sorrow. When people build a new home, their intellect yoga is removed from the old one and linked to the new. They understand that the old home is to be demolished. This is a matter of the unlimited. You have to leave everything, including your bodies. Those bodies will not go with you. It is only souls that have to return to the Father. The Father says, remember me as I am, what I am, and how every soul has part recorded within him. Such a tiny soul has a part of 84 birds recorded within him. It is impossible to have a part of 8.4 million birds. Now that the Father has opened the locks on your intellects, you understand that all of that is wrong. What the Father tells you about such a tiny soul having a part of 84 birds recorded within him is right. The Father only talks to the children. He is knowledgeable. They say, so and so had studied for the ICS, means Indian Civil Services. It is the soul that studies through his organs. Although someone may be important or rich, he can still become ill. It is not that an important person would have a longer lifespan. Poor ones do not commit as much sin as important people. There is nothing but sin in this world. This is the world of sinful souls. They commit sin with everything they do. When they feed Brahmin priest, that is also feeding the impure. There is no charity in feeding the impure. You are now becoming pure in reality. Even though sannyasis became pure, they are not the ones who go to the pure world. They still have to take rebirth in the impure world, whereas you will not take rebirth in the impure world. They think that the duration of the world is very long. Until destruction takes place, everyone has to continue to take rebirth. 
no one can be liberated from that this is your last birth you know that you are going to go to the pure world the father sits here and explains children you belong to the pure family path you were deities and you have been continuing to take rebirth you don't know about your past birth this is not taught to just one person many study this the father only talks to the brahmin children shudras will not understand these things first of all explain to them for 7 days and make them into brahmins so that they can realize that they belong to the clan of shiv and that they are brahma kumars and kumaris you became the masters of the new world by studying this these are the madhvan creation of brahma everyone is a child of prajapita brahma he is called the great great grandfather brahma is always portrayed as a very old man images of christ are shown christians also continue to take rebirth great great grand christ means ancestor of the christian branch shubhaba is incorporeal you simply call him the father he is incorporeal and he is called god the father he does not have a father or a guru because he is the sat guru so who are those gurus they go on physical pilgrimages whereas we go on a spiritual pilgrimage when someone dies here they say that he has gone to heaven but that is a lie because he returns here some say that so and so has merged into the infinite light acha if the great sages and holy men merge into the infinite light when they die why are the anniversaries of their death commemorated if it would be very good if they merged into the infinite light but to commemorate the anniversary of their death and feed the brahmin priest etc is wrong he becomes a resident of heaven and they feed him with the food of hell that is called unrighteous whatever they do is wrong the entrances of human beings are completely locked the father says i come and unlock the locks but maya locks them again they say that god is omnipresent they think that their knowledge has continued from time immemorial the poor people don't know anything knowledge and devotion the day of brahma and the night of brahma are both equal so why have they made the day the golden age so long and the night so short the day of brahma and the night of brahma should both be equal this is a matter of the unlimited the father comes and explains everything the father is called the ocean of jewels of knowledge each jewel is worth hundreds of thousands of rupees the father explains to your children it is a matter of yesterday i explained to you and left you with your fortune of the kingdom you ruled the kingdom and then you lost it yesterday you had the kingdom but you don't have it today therefore you have to claim it back once again it is a matter of today and tomorrow yesterday bharat was heaven the birth of shiv is celebrated in bharat shiv baba must definitely have come and he has come once again he is giving you your fortune of the kingdom you are now changing from shells into diamonds you actors now know the beginning the middle and the end of the drama that is you have become knowers of the three aspects of time the father says sweet sweet children remember me your father do not forget me i have come to make you into the masters of heaven you do not forget the one who made you into the masters of hell and yet you forget me your father 
Maya will definitely make you forget. However, you have to make effort to stay in remembrance. The father gives knowledge to souls. It is a soul's duty to claim his inheritance from the father. You have to renounce body consciousness. There is only the one father who inspires your children to make effort. This is a school. It is not a question of having a glimpse, etc. Do you have to have a glimpse of the principle? These things have to be understood. This is school of Raj Yoga. Come and understand. First of all, give them the explanation of the one father. You must not proceed any further until they have understood this. After giving them the explanation of the father, you should get them to write it down. Once they have the faith that they can claim their unlimited inheritance from Shivaba, they will not be able to stay without meeting such a father. It is said, Trimurti Shiv. Shiv is the one who creates Brahma, Vishnu and Shankar. You would definitely call Brahma the father of people. You would not call Vishnu or Shankar that. The land of Vishnu is established through Prajapita Brahma. The world mother and the world father then became Lakshmi and Narayan. Their children became their heirs. Therefore, there is no meaning in saying Trimurti Brahma. The father has entered this one. The father makes this one's soul pure. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost, and now found children, love, remembrance, and good morning from the mother, the father, Baghdada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. The sp spiritual children says Namaste and good morning to the spiritual father. Essence for the dharna. First point. The father has opened the locks on your intellects. Therefore, do not perform any wrong acts with your physical organs. Pay attention that none of your thoughts are sinful. Second point. You now have to return home. Therefore, forget that body of yours. Remove your intellect yoga from the land of sorrow and remember the father and the inheritance. Blessing. May you finish all west of impurity and become completely clean like a holy swan. Explanation. The speciality of a holy swan is constantly to pick up jewels of knowledge and to use its power of discernment to separate water from milk. That is to discern between wasteful and powerful. A holy swan means to be always clean. Cleanliness means purity and not to be even slightly influenced by anything dirty nor by even any impurity of waste. If there is any waste, you cannot be said to be completely clean. Keep your intellect playing with jewels of knowledge at every moment and continue to churn knowledge and there won't then be any waste. This is known as picking up jewels of knowledge. Slogan When the boat and the boatman are strong, any strong becomes a gift. Om Shanti